It was another clinic day at the Nigerian Medical Mission in Mecca, and the mission continues to attend to the healthcare need of Nigerian pilgrims. The head of the medical mission, Dr. Ibrahim Kana, say they have full complement of personnel and equipment, and the patients do come. Um, I have been having feverish conditions since uh, two days back. The nurse attached to our house attended to me. Then I, there is no much improvement, so that's why I decided to come to the medical mission, so I'll see doctor for proper medication. The scenario at the mission is business-like. There are more than six consultancy rooms. There are full complement of admission rooms. Zainab has just seen a doctor. I've been suffering from uh, body pain and my legs, maybe arthritis, knee or something like that. They gave me uh, drugs for rheumatism, that is uh, body pain. And then I'm suffering from peptic ulcer. The critical issue is in Muna, where the close to 100,000 Nigerian pilgrims will all gather for the Hajj duties. How ready is the Hajj mission for these people? Two days ago we had a meeting with, um, with all the state uh, medical teams in Nigeria, and then we also met with the Saudi Ministry of Health to see how we can put our heads together to provide the best services in Muna and Arafat. Uh, so far uh, we have um, over 46 clinics established. In the meantime, the Senate Committee on Health worked at the medical mission in Mecca, to assess its state and its plans for the pilgrims. The only thing we have observed is that uh, uh, the place seems to be restricted. Why? Because we are operating for uh, a rented building. And I understand we've been here for the past 50 years. Hajj Medical Mission is one of the biggest service providers during Hajj. In Mecca, Mohammed Hamis Robo, NTN News 24.